All right, the game is ready. The last thing we have to do is create an executable so that you can distribute this. Now you can distribute it several different ways and it's fairly easy with Unity for all of those. So here's what we're gonna do. Under the File menu, choose Build Settings. And this comes up, which we've seen before when we had to put the scenes in the build. But there's also down here on the lower half, uh, the different platforms that you can target. Let's do web player first, select that, and then choose player settings down here at the bottom. And over in the inspector then, this is where you would put your company name, the product name, uh, icons, and down here settings for web player. This is where you put in your screen width and height. And so let's say this is going to be uh, 1280 by 720. And you can also choose a black background or uh, default different templates here for the web player. I'm just going to go with this right here and then I'm going to click the build button. It's going to ask me where to put it and I'm just going to use that location right there and I'm going to put this on pause until this is done. This is going to take just a couple moments and then I'll come back and show you what it has built. Okay we got done and what it gave us was this folder with two files in it. One is an HTML file and one is a .unity3d file. And so all you have to do is host these two files on your web server, on your website somewhere, and you've got a game that people can play on the web. And let's go ahead and try this. I'm just going to uh, launch testwebbuild.html. And there is our game all ready to go. I'm going to hit the start button. And we don't have the background music because I forgot to unmute that. That would be something you'd not want to do. But we've got the game, uh, just like in Unity itself, but this is ready to be put on the web and allow people to play it. So that's how easy it is to deploy for the web from Unity. And deploying to the desktop is not much harder. Choose PC, Mac, and Linux standalone here, and then choose your target platform, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. And... Then you can also hit player settings and over in the inspector there are the the normal things up at the top and then down at the bottom we've got some different options and including uh, down here at the bottom some different optimization op options and things like that that we're not going to go into that's the kind of thing you'd have to uh, really play with and, and if you are building for windows you're going to have to look into the optimizations needed for that platform and so on just kind of assume that uh, you build your game at first, and once it's really cool and playable, there's going to be some time at the last when you're going to have to spend uh, spend some time looking at what kind of settings you're going to be needing, and especially if you're going to do something such as uh, building for iOS and, and Android, actually, too. You've got uh, different size screens. You have assets that are probably you're probably going to want to not use the highest quality assets uh, lower quality assets so that your performance is still really good on the smaller devices with with less horsepower and if you build for a mobile device uh, like that you'll find that this sample game won't actually run very well because it wasn't set up for touch screens it was set up for keyboard to to move the player around but those things aside building for web player as you saw is super easy just as easy to build for a mac pc or linux standalone desktop and that's it that's all you really need to know to get started with deploying in unity next video is going to be the shortest of all uh, you can actually skip it if you need to. I'm just going to say goodbye and point you to some places where you can get more information.